Well, hey there. How's everyone doing? You join us on the hottest day of the goddamn year. And I'm in a broom cupboard. So, prior warning, clothes may be coming off. Whoa. Depending on uh, audience participation, I tell you what, it is hot and sweaty. Now then, you join us for the sweatiest d, &D show you will ever see on Twitch. This is Marrow Shaft Nights, putting the who me back in D&D. &D. haven't caught up with the Session Zero and the Session One, they are available on YouTube or here on the Ampersand D20 Twitch channel. So make sure you get yourself subscribed on there. I'm sure as time goes on, it will make more sense. But uh, yeah, we, we're really thankful to see everyone back here. We had an absolute wild time uh, last episode. We got, some, we got some pretty epic numbers in um last episode and we were like absolutely blown away by the um by the number of listeners we got so yeah we're really excited to roll out another adventure as ever oh is wildly inappropriate so you know if you've got little ears maybe maybe jog on and do your mass homework but uh you know we're here for time so you might be asking yourself who are all these other beautiful people here on the screen with me let's have a quick Stroll around and introduce ourselves to some of these uh, wonderful retro rates. Now, first up, I don't actually know where, I'm not looking on the Twitch stream, so let me get the Twitch stream up so I can see where on earth. You are. Let's find Mash. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hey everyone, I'm Mashashi, your local uh, author, Twitch VTuber. I'm a flesh YouTuber today. I'm usually an elf. Hmm. Um, I play Thea, who is an astral elf, and um, she she's pretty much over everything. So yeah, she she's ready to to go steal a bear. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. And who who does who? Tell us about your astral elf. Um, <laughs> as a brief, give us give us the elevator pitch on Thea. Um, so she um has devoted her life to her muse, who she calls Bella. Uh, unfortunately, mm. her beloved Bella has fallen out with her because she married um mm. Barty in a drunken mishap, and um Bella has run away and um yeah taken all my uh, inspiration with her. So my quest is to. Get divorced from Barty and finally find <laughs> and be reunited with the love of my life and my muse, who I've dedicated literally hundreds of years of my life to. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> amazing. amazing, amazing, amazing. Right. That's Mashachi putting the ass back in Astro Elf. There we go. Well, they've gone on an incredibly stupid order down here on the uh, Twitch stream. <laughs> right. On the right. I just in no particular order. We have the wonderful Cal uh, playing Barty. You want to tell us a bit about Barty and introduce yourself, Cal? Yes, I am Cal, aka Sealy TTRPG, and I am playing Barty Guatheg, the uh, cow faced rogue. Egg. He is uh, a very naughty boy, um, and he has a cow's face, yeah. as, uh, as was previously mentioned. That's kind of his whole thing, <laughs> but let's just say. A uh, couple more details, which is that he has a wonderful wife in Thea, um, who he loves dearly, and um, uh, is um, pretty set on, um, I think, trying to make the marriage work at this point, uh, despite um, <laughs> being given very clear um, signs that uh, it ain't going to work. So um, he will he will fight for love, and he will. Um, stop at nothing to do so he will swindle and steal and yes that's pretty much it so yeah he's a naughty boy a he's in love modern relationship yeah it's worth pointing out here cal we do fully fully endorse listener participation so for any point listeners you want to get in the chat and offer up any kind of marital advice that you may have garnered across the course of own relationships or you just want to drop us some tip hints money anything you know that will we'll go towards uh, counseling for these two all much appreciated so uh yeah don't be shy listeners get in the chat all right thank you very much cal right next up we have the very wonderful calvin who is playing solomon 
Good evening, everybody. Yep, I am Kay. I am playing Solomon. Um, Solomon is a relatively serious individual um, who's kind of bemused by everything that's happening around him, um, but was told there was going to be exotic animals um, and erotic. They... Exotic, not erotic animals. Well, I mean, it could be both. <laughs> not mutually exclusive. <laughs> um, for him to study. A diagram. Uh, um, and yeah, he is also massively bemused by all of this trouble that his that mate um, Willow has got him into into forty grand's worth of debt somehow. Um, but yeah, all in all, he's kind of having a good time. I think he's just kind of <laughs> going with it. Um, and yeah, I'm up to seeing. I'm really up for seeing what happens here, but I don't know if this is going to go well. <laughs> but it should be fun. Only one way to find out. Only exactly. one way to find out. We're going to dive straight in. Right there, you go. That's didn't three out do of cat. Did we? I haven't done cat. I was about to do. Cat. I'd never forget cat. I was about to. Your mic's muted, you? lovely. Fine. No, cat. You're gonna oh, just go now. <laughs> now mash the storm with that AJ Thunder there. I was gonna say, I was gonna introduce I was I was gonna call her something like cat Daffodil, but it's cat tulip, me. isn't it? We've got the lovely cat tulip. You were gonna get into it. I was like Oh cat daffodil. Yeah. I don't know why I changed my name. Uh yeah, I am uh cat tulip or cat daffodil if you'd rather call me that. I don't mind. Um, Quite easy. Oh. Uh, I play Willow, the centaur barbarian, um, got a horse butt. Uh, kind of like Barty's thing is he's got a cow face. Her thing is she's got a horse butt. It's, you know, that we've got, we've, we're a very simple group with very simple things. Um, she's, yeah, a horse butt, a centaur barbarian. Um, she doesn't think that she has got Solomon into all this chaos and trouble. And doesn't see how any of this, seeing as he put his foot through the ceiling, can be blamed on her. Um, but at the same time, she has accidentally, possibly, maybe, given her blood to her, her landlord, and so is kind of screwed. Well, this is true. This is true. There's there's lots of moral quandaries. Now then, you're getting dangerously close into recap territory there, Kat. Um you're on you're on mute again, by the way. I know. Sorry. Go. Oh. You tell us a story, AJ. Well, I'm not gonna tell you the story because because the wonderful Mashashe has 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 penned another bardic tune for us all to enjoy. So rather than me just telling you, how about how about we have it in the, the, the medium of music? <laughs> Yes, in between um, last session and they stopped off for a, a pint and uh, Thea decided to write another um, verse to their song. <laughs> we tried to escape the neighbourhood But those morons paid their names with blood Seems we have no other plan but to find this mystery man. In Marrow Shaft, our humble home where demons came and claimed the throne. In Marrow Shaft, all right is wrong and devils sing you songs. We cut on through the noble district and Birdie found some grooby but shit stuck his foot into the fountain but Solomon said move on and then we start to buy some cheese but I am wheat and dairy free and Willow got some in her head but but swears it ain't there in under hell we found the circle the numbers there were kind of hurtful sang a song and they fell asleep to my sick and twisted beat and off of them we can't refuse to kidnap bears from local zoos in marrow shell 
in my own shaft, in my own shaft, our humble home white demons came and claimed the throne. In my own shaft, all writers, kong and devils sing you songs. We sing you pretty, pretty songs, we do. Yes, so good. <laughs> oh, it's so cool good. that each, each week we get a new verse. Just think, if we didn't ever stop doing this, how many verses we'd have? <laughs> be longer than Bohemian Rhapsody. Like, no. Nothing's longer we'd than be, Bohemian We'd beat Rhapsody. Brian Adams' record at number one, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. we can we can we can definitely outdo brian adams he's a he's a total uh never mind he's a total... <laughs> <laughs> Big no, no, shout out to mash ashy for coming up with the second verse amazing absolutely, absolutely amazing. phenomenal how we're many keep, campaigns keep have building. their own theme yeah i'll do it every oh. week yes the theme tune that grows every session it, it is worth it is worth noting, listeners, subscribers, watchers, whatever you'd like to identify yourselves as. I have adapted the storyline already at least once because of a line in that tune that I didn't fully understand, and I was like, "Sod it! I'll change the storyline to fit the tune." <laughs> <laughs> if Easy. if we keep going down down that avenue, we'll see we'll see where we get to. Every time Mash wants yeah. to, uh, and Barty to gets a lot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Right, here we are. We're here to have some fun. That was a musical recap. I'll give you a very quick uh, AJ style recap, just in case, like, condensed into an elevator pitch. Basically, the party trashed their apartment. They owe a lot of money to Tattershaft Estates. They got a fortuitous invitation from a, a man called Lysidius Finch, who works, uh, he's like a criminal broker for the underworld. And, um, there's an organisation called the Tattered Circle, um, who the eagle-eared listeners may have noticed I accidentally called the Tainted Circle a various... I got a lot of shit for that last last time we did. The Tattered Circle is like a criminal organisation that Lysidius Finch ran, and he basically said, I've got this job for you, and I want you to audition for it. And and the role is, I need you to kidnap um, Bishop Aldrich von Gooch and deliver a sermon in his place. But before I can trust you with that... I need to do a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a road test, a bit of an audition, if you will. And what I need you to do is go to Marrow Shaft Zoo and kidnap the naked Jessippin bunny bear. And so the players thought for a moment, that's a bit out of our wheelhouse, but it's a lot of money on the line here. Um, and so they've, they've negotiated a fair penny. I think it was in the realms of 50,000 gold pieces each, which is, which is insane. And they've literally just left Lasidius Finch's office and the waiting room outside. And they find themselves in the Underhelm, which is sort of like the um, the basement to the city, if you will, the, the Undercroft to, to Marashaft, full of full of ne'er-do-wells. Um, oddly, where Barty grew up, for those who, who haven't been tuning in. Uh, and you find yourself there in, in the kind of bottom rung of society, with with a mission to get to Marishaft Zoo and to kidnap the Jessippin naked bunny bear. You've got a day or so, I believe, Lasidius Finch told you, you had circa a day, which is less about the bunny bear and more about Aldrich von Gooch and needing to kidnap him in good time. So just, I, I put the game in your hands, players. What will you do? Just above the table oh. then. So we got a day for the Jessippin bunny bear or a day for the bishop? I think no, AJ got last time, 24, 24 hours, hours to get the bear. The bear. Then okay. impress Lefizius. Lefizius. <laughs> yeah, that's his name. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> to impress in the Lefizius. Room. And if we had, then we had, because I think it's like a, day, a couple of days before the bishop needs to on the specific sermon. Okay. A specific day. See, I took notes and I paid attention. I oh. took notes, but I've lost them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's worse. But you, you wrote a song, and that kind of balances out. Yeah. On the kind of. Uh, like, yeah. I don't think Mash B &D. needs to write m notes because Mash writes the song. <laughs> and the song dictates the storyline, as we've clearly discovered. So Mash can write whatever she wants. 
You could only be on a tropical island by next Maybe week. Maybe that's like Thea's true power. Because she ain't going to share it, what it actually is with you guys. <laughs> is it the power okay. of cow love? So, going back to above the table, uh, <laughs> we need to kidnap Bunny. I believe Thea might have some spells, but possibly not that Willow understands how spells work, but she's heard this thing about having to change them out. <laughs> that Thea might need about four hours Jesus. to do Thea, such a thing. Thea requires a rest. She is tired. She has been walking around this city all day, and she she was like... She had to deal with like you trying to poison her with gluten and cheese, like cracker bread and cheese earlier, and then we had to like go into the thing, and she used like she sang there, and that was tiring as well, and it's just been too much for her, and she Please. needs to go lounge. Okay. It has Lamb. used two spells today: a healing and a sleep spell. That's yeah. I also heal, but yeah, Barty. Well, I time. did heal Barty. Can we just double check? Because I did Ander D and D Beyond. Party, still missing some some HP. So yeah, you might okay. to, you I, I accidentally know. clicked the wrong thing, I think, but it did fill up my slot. Like it, it didn't. Was trying to hit. Yeah, I think I tried to wound him. <laughs> Ripping it over. <laughs> was to hit you. Oh, did you do flick wounds instead or something like that? I might have done. Yeah, I think I, I clicked. <laughs> I think I clicked the wrong roll. Dude, I nearly died in the session zero. Wow. So it's like <laughs> that's amazing. So a song brand for Thea, yeah. though. Yeah. Very much the Harold to... Shipman of medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I did, I did, I did try and heal him. It just, I don't think it went through. That's not going to stand up in court, to be honest. I mean, the nail right. went through his foot. <laughs> Very much, but yeah, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll say above the table talk, listeners. Fuck the fourth wall, right above the table. Heal yourself up. Pal, because because you've you've had people touching your feet magically, and they should be better. So you should right. have ten toes. <laughs> I don't uh, know why I love the way you described that. I'm um, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Um, that's exactly well, how I want it. Yeah, yeah. You just got a right. foot rub. Happy days. Sexy, Job. sexy foot rubs. Name of the episode, listeners. All right, there you go. Yeah, she did not touch her feet. Of... I'm just saying that she would not touch her feet if you paid her. What kind of spell was it? Did you whisper at his feet? Of love and devotion. She's a bard. It was healing word. She she she. You played to his. Exactly. She she spoke the words and it healed. It did into my foot, like really close up. Like (laughs) so, you sung sweet nothings to his foot to help him heal. heal What a wonderful wife! Oh, oh, healy feet, oh, healy feet. Oh, so, like, the further out of, like, Underhelm we, we keep walking without deciding things, the louder Thea is going to be in complaining about wanting to sit down and rest and becoming incredibly intolerable because she is incredibly whiny about it. Oh, my love, have you, um, you know, been out of your chair for uh, for too long? <laughs> yes! Well, we can't go back to the flat now, can we? So we might as well just carry on. Um, we've got a few hours to kill before nightfall. I imagine we're going to um, uh, perhaps uh, deal with this bunny bear creature uh, under I nightfall rather than uh, broad daylight. Uh, perhaps uh, deal going with to this bunny bear such creature. Thing as we have a centaur and a cow face with us. There's nothing offensive me- called meaning by that, but... A slight offence, but I-, I understand, Solomon. <laughs> Stand you out. think maybe you might want to? Do, do you know? Do we know that that the um, zoo at all? It's not somewhere that I would frequent in my visits to the city. Well, um, I've been, I've visited there once. However, I have a suggestion that would may give us some information prior to uh, our uh, nightly uh, uh, escapade. Um, perhaps I could. Go on all fours, pretend I'm a cow, and do some reconnaissance around the zoo during daytime. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Look, you know you've only got a cow face, right? You still look like a bloke from the neck down. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why it's gonna look really, really weird. Everyone's gonna be like, "What the hell's like wrong with what's wrong around. with that cow?" <laughs> Oh, God. We've lost Mash. We've lost Mash. 
So you're going to pretend to be a cow to look around the zoo. Did yes. I did I hear you see I was busy looking something up and then um just wanted to check that's what I heard. I just want to find the most efficient entry point so we could sneak in, deal with the bunny bear and leave. And um if I have to embrace my inner moo, I will. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's, um, it's my you, inner mood. It's, it's very admirable of you to be um, bracing one's inner self. Uh, if you think that that is the best course of action, um, you seem to know more about this than I do. Um, I would suggest that maybe if um, Thea is um, so tired, that maybe we find an inn or something like that where we could stay out for a few hours, some time until uh, until nightfall. Yes, are there any sort of cheap inns around here? Because as I have discovered um, in the last few hours, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> well, so you're meant to give know. away Jeff, a gold I... to an urchin. <laughs> yes, because yeah. you gave would... away a gold to a street urchin who like, episodes ago. Oh, I would, I would happily give that the gold to that street urchin again. I'm just saying that um, I'm not going to be able to be getting the rounds in, as Willow likes to say. <laughs> I You've already afford. destabilized the entire marrow shaft economy. The thing you don't know about that urchin from a DM point of view is he didn't make it to the end of the street being shivved multiple times by other children and the money being redistributed back up to the higher tiers of society. So, sorry, it's okay. The money's back in the pockets of the rich. Uh, well, that's okay. I, w I was so worried for so long because they haven't got enough. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't deny them. In terms of money, if if we need some rounds for a couple of hours, well, people do things. That's fine. I can't cover it. I have. They require peace and quiet. I'm sorry that the bar will not do for me. I need to. I need to. I need to meditate. Oh, where we would get we get you a tavern with an inn? Can we get a room, please. Oh, yeah, a, can get a room with a with a room. I, I can't. I can't meditate with. Um... Okay, so if we find. Mysterious I, voice. I, I give like in... a sort of a forlorn look to Barty. I'm just like, how are you so happy in your marriage? <laughs> Mysterious voice in the sky. Uh, would we be able to locate a, a not massively expensive inn where we could purchase a room for Thea to do her meditating in and we can create as a base, we plan our heist. Can I just quickly clarify, have you fully left now the Underhelm? Are you back in uh, the Fatuk district, which is outside of that? Yeah. yeah, I think we're wandering above ground. I don't know if everyone else agrees. Okay. Yeah, I think we probably would have been by now. I didn't, I didn't really I, feel, I didn't really feel it, comfortable down there. I wouldn't have stayed in Underhelm, no. No, fear would not want. Okay, you could, you could have. That's all I was saying. There are, there are opportunities. So just from a narrative point of view, you've now left the Underhelm. The air down there was close and really warm, too warm, almost claustrophobic in the under sewers of the city. As after a nice 10 minute walk bustling through the crowds, you push your way back up into the disused um, sewerage building, uh, which I think is called the Fultual Sewerage Building. You can almost feel crisp lungfuls of clean air as you come back out into the fellas took district as you leave the iron gates the rusty iron gates of the felt water sewerage you come back into uh, the fellas took district there's nothing wrong with it it's it's a nice um it's just a nice working class district and you see uh, we're now heading I'm trying to think now you're now going to be far later early evening you're looking at now as you come out into fellas took it's an, it, everything that you could hope to find in a bustling district, you do. Now, one thing that I will note from a canonical point of view, Barty, the bird shit on your lapel is now dry. Ah. The, is, that, uh, is that more fashionable? The wagtail bird shit. Is it, is it more fashionable to, to be dry? Oh, is it flaking? It's oh, dry. That, that is... It's dry. Okay, it's bird shit on your lapel is dry. And, but as you make it out, yes. You, you top that up. Do, 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 do. You'd be aware of, you're aware of about three options in terms of inns, which will take you anywhere from the bottom rung to okay to acceptable. You're not going to make it off like two stars on the AA uh, good food guy. So you, you, you can get two rosettes. 
Um, <laughs> which bottom, well, you, you tell me how. I was going to say, would bottom rung um, be better for us to be less suspicious in, or would the, do you need um, a more refined clientele, Thea? Um, no, I just, I just, I just need to sit just down need the and room. have some peace and quiet, please. Okay, I'm not going to be able to con- like to to meditate in a. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, the lowest rung is it a is it just a crap area DM or is it um like the lowest rung uh in that we can think of is it. Like just in a bad area, or is it like fights breaking out every five minutes? Because if that's the case, then we're yeah, that it's, straight uh, off the list. Uh, 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 the lowest rung is called the Hen and Chickens. It's uh, quite fight worthy, but if you need access quickly to uh, crime and trade, it's pretty good because it's literally at our top. So, uh, depending on what what kind of services you need, whether you need the services. Uh, you know, whether you're just lonely and you need a man, a woman, or a sheep, the hen and chickens might be, or all three, if you have the coin. Um, the hen Is that and a slander at the Welsh, or... by the way? I, I take offence yeah. by this. No? <laughs> all right, goats, whatever. Like, That's this better. Is a fantasy universe. <laughs> if you want to sodomise a badger from the safety of your own imagination, we can do that. Just make sure you've not got on the, this show. The coin. <laughs> not on this show, though. I'm just not on this show. It's on this show, listeners. Watching the numbers. Rock it up there for a moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, the hen and chickens is the bottom rung. Very, very, very crime orientated. Then your your slightly more expensive option is called the greasy piglet. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, but it could become a little communal at times, depending on how busy they are. Could become like a YMCA kind of vibe where you wake up with people's clothes drying like round round your bed or the sort of okay option is called the salty sea hole and that's quite nice it kind of looks out uh onto the marina um and that that's an option there's there's nothing wrong with the salty sea hole um but to all intenses there's nothing wholly right with it either it's just bang mediocre um a bit like Star Wars, a solo story. It's just the most aggressively three-star thing ever made. It's like <laughs> somebody was just aiming for mediocrity at all costs. <laughs> that's it. It's not offensive. It's just not good. So that's the salty sea hole. Uh, for, for an okay time. It feels like a trap, but I'm voting salty sea hole then. It seems mediocre is the way to go. I vote for the absolute crime riddled one because i think hen we're about to, well, yeah the hen and chicken because uh uh i'll do oh, a, it'd be a good cover wouldn't it it Harassing would be crime well um willow i i believe we could potentially acquire some equipment from the uh patrons of that establishment and um, crime that... equipment excuse me crime equipment <laughs> Equipment to do crimes. Yes, crime equipment. Yes, yes. Okay. And... I mean, I don't know how to do crime, so I, I feel like wherever the best place to do crime is, <laughs> I don't know going. how to do crime. I feel like we could do with, even if we don't end up staying there, so you can meditate. It's worth poking our heads in, so I, I, I don't mind talking to them. I've got something in common with these people, and I will. Uh, uh, purchase a uh, say for example uh, if any of them ha- has a grappling hook we could borrow to ascend the walls etc i don't know if um how good horses are at climbing up ropes um that would be hilarious to watch so i would um recommend that just prior to going to whichever other establishment um either my friends or my love would like i don't care if i don't sit down soon i'm going to murder people you can sit on me anytime you like my love all right why don't we uh go to the crime place let bertie t- bertie barty that's what my wife cat. calls me she, she <laughs> still name? hasn't learned my name after all these years in fact i think she knows it because she says bertie just to annoy me and do you know what that's why i love her then take here somewhere that is less crimey nappage 
we can always see. We could always check to see. I mean, if it's if, not um, too seedy, if we it's can not too just bad and there. quiet enough. We can stay there. Yes, as um, as Thea and, and was saying, it's a good cover for what we are about to um, undertake. So maybe try there first, see if it's suitable for what for Thea's needs. But and if not, we move on. Um, but either way, it sounds like Barty, you seem, you might be able to procure um, some items that can make our Journ our uh, adventure this evening a little easier. Well, perhaps. I've not stolen live <clears throat> creatures before. Um, it would be a new thing for me, so um, I could do with some fucking tips. I'm not going to lie. So maybe that. Right, so let's go to the crime place, get some tips, get some tools. Let's do it. Are, are none let... of you able to speak with animals? I mean, surely that just seems like the thing to ask the bear what it wants. Not to be think... not to be kidnapped, I believe, is what it would say. Sorry to question you, my love. It's like I thought everybody I could talk to animals. I thought that was normal. No. Uh, no. no. I might be a horse, but I'm also a human. Don't talk horse. Um, humans so, are so wonderful, you... aren't you? Uh, a a, a missed opportunity hearts. there, by the way. You, when she asked you uh, whether you should, you can speak horse. You should have said nay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. I thought it in my mind more than once. And I thought, you know what? We're better than that. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. No, so not. I'll just say it. <laughs> no, sorry, listen, not. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to interrupt you, AJ. No, if we're allowed to role play optimizing badges, we're definitely not allowed to use dad jokes. All right, that's what I'm saying. All right, that that's it. That's the hard line. Okay, that's the hard line. That's like half Cal's repertoire let's, gone. Let's treat let's treat our let's treat our viewers with some dignity. Yeah, I'm no, known for the sodomizing badger material. Other channels. For it. <laughs> that's true. It's all right. I was I had a tight. <laughs> Good the man. voice of God speak. The voice yeah. of God. The voice of the ethereal <laughs> one. <laughs> Fucking weird. Was that Elon Musk? I'm sure, that was Elon. <laughs> right. He owns the internet. So, right? to the okay. Shady crime place to do shady crime. I only need four crime. hours right. to like rest. So. I swear to fucking God, I'm going to move this storyline on, whether you want me to or not. Right. As we. Make our way to the shittiest of all pubs. Right, it is the bottom rung of pubs. Right, I don't know where you're from, listeners, but some of you may be, may be from the United Kingdom or may have visited the United Kingdom and are aware of what a weather spoons it. Well, we've dropped a long way from there. As the listen, as the listener, as the uh, as our adventuring party make their way to the Hen and Chickens, you see. Well, you hear it before you see it. You hear a raucous, like, a cacophony of noise coming from down a back alley. You almost miss it the first couple of times before you stop. It's directly opposite the um, really foul-looking street food merchant who is just fingering greasy meat over an open coal-like oven. And as you look down the alleyway, you see various denizens of the early evening all standing around on a low stoop step before you see a rusted sign that has long since been weathered by the salt of the coast, which at some point probably said the hen and chickens. As yeah, the people aren't really willing to get out of your way, that they're, they're just sitting on the, st the bottom step, yeah, having drinks, sharing laughs, and generally looking slightly worse for wear. As you make your way to the front end. Wow. Then, what a Sounds fine place. Delightful. I'm sure wow. that um, we'll be able to get peace and quiet here. Yes. Yes, just... Are, are you okay with um, just leaning up against that um, street food vendor there, my love? Is that is that a good place for you to meditate? I, you're, you're poking a bear How here, much health do you have? Like, literally, because <laughs> I think I could kill you right here and now. Oh. Like, with a cantrip. It's like listening to our vows over again. I can <laughs> literally kill you with a cantrip I'm not even going to waste a slot on your love. I'm going to fucking end you with a cantrip. Wow. 
Like, I just did the math, and I'm pretty sure if I, if I, like, rolled, like, either, like, the top two, I would probably kill you. Oh, God. Reminds me of our honeymoon. We didn't yes. have a honeymoon. We well, had a let's say that this is our honeymoon. It really makes you wonder, listeners, whether they've actually consummated their marriage. They have not! <laughs> I presume it was some sort of pay-per-view fight that you could get on uh, cable. But, uh, right, okay. In fact, didn't so we discover that Barty was a virgin? <laughs> it's, it's a well-known thing that every single character I've ever played is a virgin. Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't no Even though he's been married four times. Yes. <laughs> His ladder is still in factory condition. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we go. It's interesting that he's a cow, not a bull, by the way, listeners. But, you know, we'll just leave that where it is. Right. Anyway, let's make our way through the doors with the hen and chickens. As you open the door, the waft hits you. It's basically somewhere, the smell of somewhere between sawdust, low-grade alcohol and violence just hits you in your face as you walk into just it's just a cacophony everyone shouting and screaming you see in the far left hand corner is a low stage and there's just this really threadbare ancient tabaxi in a leather jacket just basically wailing away in a kind of like I left my heart in the old town with my lady do you look to your right basically see loads of people going Way! as the crowd slightly parts you can see on the dartboard is pinned this gnome and the players are just taking it in turns to like hurl daggers at this poor like gnome as you look straight up and uh, at the bar in between the various people who are propping it up you can see the landlord uh, is an aracochran like a half and half bird uh, he basically looks a little bit like a sleazy owl. Uh, he looks like an owl who's on some kind of register. Uh, he's got a kind of like he's got a he's just got a wrong look about him. But <laughs> he's... Oh, you paint a picture, AJ. You really do. Welcome <laughs> to hen and chicken. <laughs> so, literally scowling as she walks over the the, the door. Um... I'm gonna cast press. Uh, do the is it press di digitation to do a yeah, harmless yeah, yeah, sensory yeah. smell so that I can like not have to smell whatever's there. Like she's just gonna do a, a nice rosy smell around herself. No. no. Well, she. Didn't, she didn't do you see various denizens smoking foul roll-up cigarettes? Mm -hmm. Like just, just really like just. Mm -hmm. It, it's not... gonna smell. She's she's literally just like no. Mm -mm. You can see all the people around you are smoking in the bar. Just start coughing as the beautiful like you know rose petal aroma of you travels through them. And people are like, <laughs> <laughs> as a man just hocks up some lung butts around mm -hmm. his own. Oh. <laughs> it's the only. It's the first fresh air they've ever inhaled. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're all in. Uh, you're in like a sort of like beautiful little bubble of just it's like a beautiful miasma of like oh no bubbles. i wasn't sharing that that was just oh you're not me. sharing no <laughs> oh, not. Me. you basically got the equivalent of an aromatherapy umbrella mm -hmm. you're just like holding it yeah like got it. a little right, bubble okay. around myself she just she smells like got a it. breath of fresh air yeah hmm. oh. oh i'm going to um Damn it. Assume that uh, Willow is with the her giant horse ass, just like knocking people out of the way as we progress towards the bar, um, and um, I'm gonna go up to the um, sleazy owl and um, say, just straight away goes. Do you know where I could buy some buy some uh, crime materials? <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh. First roll of the evening. I need Wait. you to make oh. me a persuasion skill check, please, Barty. My best skill. Let's do I this. Made it Forty-five minutes into the show. Oh my I word! It's twenty-six. Woo! <laughs> he gives me the deed to the bar. <laughs> twenty-six. 
as you lean in on the bar, your first mistake is putting your elbows on the bar as it goes into something wet. As you pull your elbow up, you're not sure. It's kind of like the remains of someone's drink. As you rub it off your elbow, put your hand down and lean into the bar. The slightly portly, sleazy looking uh, Eric Cochran uh, leans in as he just runs a slightly moist fed your hand as he's like, like you. Oh so, yeah, what is it you need? Well, uh, I'll pull out a shopping list and I'll just be like, <laughs> I need uh, for me, have you got a grappling hook that could support a big ass horse? <laughs> you see him pull a shot from underneath the counter. Well, a random bottle. He doesn't even look back. There's various multicolored bottles behind him. He just grabs a random bottle, pulls a cork out with his teeth, just spits it out into the crowd somewhere, and just pours a shot, never breaking eye contact with you as he just necks it. Big ass grapple hook. Securing a horse. Correct. <laughs> a crane. He looks at you for a while, pours another shot. Slams the counter with one fist as he's like, You want to be speaking to Chad? As he points over to a man hurling daggers at a small gnome on a dartboard. Ah. He'll sort you out. Got a uh, particular catalogue of, you know, for the discerning criminal. I've, um, I've heard of Chad. Uh, I want nothing to do with that. Uh, he scares me. Uh, Solomon, would you care to, um, Converse with with Chad. He's a charming fellow. I I mean I can't. Okay, what? Um, uh, just show him this list. I'll hand okay. Solomon the list. Um, um, and which which one is Chad? The um the one throwing daggers at the gnome. Okay. Good luck. Okay. I'm gonna follow Solomon, and I'm gonna walk behind him. I'll stay at the bar yeah. and just watch on. Is there any music being played? Some, it's some muscle. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. The tabaxi, the an the ancient tabaxi rocker, a bit like uh, Mark Bla, a slightly furrier. Uh, it's got like a you know just kind of like aging rocker, kind of you know like adult oriented rock. Is kind there of vibe a seat near it. them? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, yeah, there's, Thea's there's, not going to help with this. She's going to go sit with him instead. And if there's a seat there, oh. if she wants to sit down, she's tired. She needs yeah, a rest. Yeah, yeah. He genuinely looks. It looks like his heart's going to melt. No one has ever paid attention to him. He's just background music. Is genuinely touched. As you see yeah. a single tear just rolling down his wrinkled, musty face. Oh! Uh, but we're, we're we're missing we're missing out on the so we're going to leave you there listening to the aging tabaxi rocker. Um, Barty, you're still at the bar. The sleazy uh, Aracoke. Yeah, is I'm just going to maintain eye hands. contact. Just just constantly doing the whole shot thing. Just I'm just not going to break eye contact with this sleazy owl. <laughs> he pours you a shot in the same glass without washing us. Get off in an hour if you want to get off. Well, yes. I, uh, we... <laughs> I'm not going to run. No, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> As we're going to make <coughs> we're going to make our way to the dartboard. As who did we say it was? Uh, Solomon and Willow was it? Solomon so, taking. The lead? I'm going to. Yeah. Solomon is. I'm going to let Solomon take the lead and do the chatting to start with. But I'm going to just flex some muscle and look intimidating enough to that no one messes with my buddy. Okay, okay. I would Make like me to... a straight up intimidation skill check, please. Oh dear, that's not great, because that's a ten in total, because I'm holding eight. So yeah, ten. 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 Because you you strutting, you're really flexing your horse bod. It's you know there's some um, there's some Great real muscles and cords. Bod. Yeah, you're flexing flexing your your horse muscles as you clippity clop in, like you know really strutting your stuff. Uh, on a ten, I'm going to say the gnome pinned to the board looks truly terrified. Uh, there's well, at a least look I of scared horror. someone. <laughs> yeah, the, the gnome having knife thrown at him. He's got various <laughs> knives sticking out of vital parts of his body. He looks <laughs> terrified. As Chad, who's been throwing knives, turns around. <coughs> Apologies, listen. 
Uh, Chad turns around and you see a particularly crusty looking uh, sailor with dreadlocks, which are basically just turned into one. They kind of like they start off as various dreadlocks and just turn into one kind of matted salt lock back as he turns around and eyes you for a while, just licking the end of his knife. His dagger. He spins and flicks it at the gnome as it just hits the ear of the gnome who just shakes and quivers and cries. As he looks over at the gnome, he's like, Stay there. I'm not finished with you. As he spins around and looks at you, Willow, he's like, What, pray tell, are you? Uh, a horse person. My friend here, Solomon, has been asked to come and have a chat with you about some things that you might be able to procure for us. Solomon, you have a list, is that correct? Uh, yes, I um, I have a list of things that my friend Barty, um, if, if you would uh, just look back there at the bar, um, instructed The one me with the cow you, face, by the way. It's the cow face man at the bar, uh, instructed us that you might be able to help us in we need some crime things to do crimes, and we've been told that we can procure crime equipment. A laughter goes up in the bar on a 10 for intimidation. You see the people huddling, huddled around watching Chad throw in daggers are uh, pissing themselves laughing. There's almost like a wheezy laugh going on. Chad does not at any point look like he's amused he's got like a serious look on his on his filthy sea crusted face as yes fear you may have us confused with a different kind of bar i mean no your mate behind the bar literally said to come to you so i'd blame your bird sleazy bird friend behind the bar if i were you he's the one who <laughs> to my friend now he find out now, now that you've called him sleazy bird he's now i'm warming to you so sleazy bird sleazy dude bird told my cow friend dude who told my human friend dude and i've come over as a horse person to talk to you i'm not sure what you were um uh, but you seem to be attacking the small dude but you sleazy bird dude said you are the man to know with the things the crime things he looks at you Slightly longer than is comfortable, weighing you up. He looks in back. For quick as a flash, he pulls a knife from his waist, spins around, throws it, and it hits the gnome on the dartboard between the eyes, killing him instantly. As crowd, realising that their entertainment is over for the evening, all look slightly disappointed and just are melting away. As he walks forward, he walks up to a busy table full of people drinking, and as he walks, they just get, they just eat the table. He doesn't even have to say anything. They all just vacate the table and take their drinks and their card game elsewhere. And he pulls up a chair for you. Join me. Step into my office. I point to the Solomon of the chair and go, I'll just stand if it's okay. A friend can sit. Yes, okay, so let me just stand. Have you seen the size of my butt? I've never seen a horse sit. Yeah, in this horse sit. I'm not even sure it's biologically um, possible. I don't know. <laughs> they can lie on their sides and they can kneel like cows, I think. Yeah, so you'd have to get down like that. Yeah. Solomon, you <laughs> have the list, I believe. Uh, yes, I, uh, I have this list of items that... Um, could do with if uh, perchance they are available. Um, and I guess you hand over the list uh, so which has the, whatever the party oh. scrawled on I it. Know. I haven't even looked at it. For the take of the listeners, are you, are you able to describe what's on the list? Uh, I would assume grappling hook to lift a, a horse. Can I um, uh, interject and just say it says grappling hook times one and then um, crime stuff. Just the words crime stuff written underneath. <laughs> Amazing. Slide it across the table as Chad takes it, slides it slowly, almost poker cards, as he flips the edge up and looks at it. His eyes never 
Phelan to look at yours, um, Solomon, across the table as a barmaid comes and just puts a glass of clear fluid down in front of both yourself, Willow, and Chad. Drinks just arrive for people like Chad. Hmm. All of you now have drinks in front of you. Slam he back. looks at the list, never once breaking expression as he reads Grappling Hook times one, the crime stuff. Looks at you for a while. Looking over the list, though, I am going to just take that drink. I'm just going to slam it back in one go and then slam the glass down and look at him again. He's respectful to that. He's, he, he's, there's a certain, for the first time, you see a bit of a flicker of respect um, in here. As he looks at it, he says, what I'm seeing is that perhaps you'd like our beginner's kit for crime. It's, well, if you've got a beginner's crime kit, that would be great. We do indeed have a beginner's crime kit. Yes. Is it my... like a my first crime? Because this, this, by the way, is going to be our first crime. So well, no, if it's I like would a suggest my first maybe set. not telling everyone about what we are doing. Oh. She goes back to pretending to be all like serious again. Then takes Solomon's drink and slams that one back and then slams that down and stands there again. Well, how are we going to toast our sail? You, you don't just drink all the drink. That was for toasting the sail. Anyway, more drinks will come. Don't worry. Right. My accent has got posher, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> have you... I must say, as you have... As, as, bis, as, bi as business has um, become the topic of our conversation, you are much more agreeable. <laughs> oh. In over at the corpse of the gnome pinned to the board as he's like this is business that was personal that's not he done you some wrong he's my brother-in-law very limited the, the limited knowledge i um experience i have with marriages is that it seems to be violent. So yes. that, that seems to that seems to track also, there is now an opening in my sister. That sounds filthy now that I've said it out loud. I wouldn't but, go. But I mean, that's probably not the best to go around. My sister is now. My sister is now available. Well, my friend Barty is possibly going to get divorced soon from our friend Thea. So maybe Barty yeah. will need someone to, you know, heal his broken heart when Thea divorces him because she doesn't love him, but she actually loves someone else. Scandal. Well, I do like a scandal. Come on, let's keep this business. So, my first crime kit. I think we should be able to do something along the lines of 20 gold pieces if you're interested. Now that in a hessian sack includes a grappling hook, a net, a length of rope, a balaclava, a fake beard, and the really important thing, a small jar of someone else's DNA. That you can smear around the crime scene. What say you? Okay. Uh, Willow is going to put 20 gold pieces on the table. Has she got 20 gold got pieces? Pot. She has got 20 gold pieces. <laughs> she wins a lot no. of arm wrestling. She wins a because lot of arm wrestling. When I did my money rolls in D&D &D Beyond, it gave me a decent amount of gold. I don't Amazing. Even remember doing she has put that. 20 gold pieces down on the table. Okay. So, oh, my first crime kit. 20 gold pieces. Yes, she maybe has no give idea us a... if it's worth it or not. Okay. As uh, he looks at you and says, well, 20 gold pieces, cash in hand. Um, what kind of DNA would you like in the jar? We're not, we're not, we're, we're civilized. Um, and you don't... Like uh, anyone's on. DNA. One second. Uh, could you... Can it be anyone's anybody's? Anyone's DNA? Well, no, I mean, I mean, not any... I mean, it could be anybody's for the right price, but I mean, do you want blood, piss, saliva, uh, semen? Blood so would probably DNA, be... Do you know what? So long as it's DNA, 
mud, my friend Solomon think he's he's much better at these scientific things than me. But if you could get a Malcolm Milk Thistle's DNA, that I would give you ten more gold pieces for. He leans forward. You want me to get the DNA of a stranger in the city? Well, let's let's move that to one side. You really have upgraded from my first crime kit very fast. Well, that's more of the advanced level. If you wish me to milk a random stranger, I can do that for you and get their DNA. But uh, that's more in the 100 gold pieces range. Uh, okay, I don't, do I don't you, just I'll milk do every man I meet. Do a deal. For right now, my first crime set at 20 gold pieces is an absolute steal. And I'll just have a random person's DNA. If I could procure 100 gold pieces... I'll come back and make that deal about Malcolm Milk Thistle's DNA. Because I have something else that I might like to uh, use that DNA for. Well, we don't ask questions. Okay. <laughs> as a uh, right deal, as he takes 20 gold pieces off you. Now, okay. at this point, at this point, he takes 20 gold pieces off you. He tells you just to give you like 20 minutes or something like that just to pull the stuff together. What we're going to do we uh we're going to say that the um bar staff swap around the sleazy looking owl takes a jar and goes into the back and uh leaving barty to his own devices um yeah is there anything you particularly want to do before the drinks break no uh, she was just, just chilling with the bar and she's met up for new friends okay 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 you're you're just coming away to his melodies a uh, whiny as <coughs> shit. Yeah, but she she can harmonise still... a bit. It's cool. Yeah. She just picked yeah. up her uke and went. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's not great. It's a little bit <clears throat> like Muse dragged itself out of a litter tray. It's like it's just very whiny, tabaxi kind of emo music. Uh, it's it's got a nice it's got a nice beat to it. Now, before we go in for a very quick drinks break, listeners, um, we're just going to have five minutes to grab a drink, refresh ourselves, grab some air, and think about what we've done in this first half. And you know, we've, <laughs> we've covered a lot of very interesting ground. Quite frankly, we've got nowhere with the storyline, but hey, you know, this is a four-part adventure that may end up being twenty-five parts because we never get anywhere. But the important thing to note, listeners. Before we get to the drinks break, Barty, looking relieved as the sleazy looking owl goes into the back holding an empty jam jar. Barty, <sighs> you suddenly feel shooting pain under your right eye, almost like someone has pushed a slither of molten metal like right up into your eye as you howl in pain. Everyone Whoa. turns around and looks at you. As you grab your face, you can feel the muscles and bone cracking and crunching in your cow face piercing white light shooting into your brain as all of you look over and you see the front of Barty's face crack open bone jutting out of the skin as it morphs and mould as he holds his hand screaming blood pouring between his fingers as a single tentacle flops out with the front and then another tentacle as he washes away the blood and viscera you see Artie's cow face is slowly distending and changing he now looks more like an octopus's face it wasn't me I didn't do it <laughs> he's turning into an elephant he did it oh my it. god I didn't do it uh, Artie's no, just do? got mini tendrils hanging down the front of his face slightly oh. like oh. Oh. does he often Barty? do that Thea? Barty. Barty I'm running over to Barty oh. before we go for the break that's what I'm doing how does it look um is this normal Barty does your face change regularly and should you have tentacles I didn't know it would change.
and welcome back. We are back. We've refreshed our drinks. We've all been to the toilet. We've all changed our underwear. Massive congratulations to Sammy123 for winning the competition in the break. Uh, there is a bottle of Gooch Wax coming your way. If you want to leave your address in the chat, we will make sure to mail out the Gooch Wax to you. So well done, Sammy123. Please don't right, put your address well, in the chat. <laughs> Oh, come on. GDPR is a fantasy make-believe construct. It doesn't really exist. Yes. Don't share your personal details in the chat. Don't share your personal <laughs> It's not smart. It's not funny. And it's only me who's going to go to Let's your Sam so, one, two, three. And then we can go to Sam one, two, three. Literally, Paul just walks away from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, yeah, yeah. put in your addresses. Break GDPR. Break GDPR. <laughs> How did you go to an AJ? Funny, I made a make believe competition in a live stream about gooch wax. And then a total stranger accidentally shared their personal information. It's not a good way to get a reputation <laughs> in jail, that's for sure. I'm too posh to go to jail. Hey, it's fine. It's fine. Not sure I should be listening to this conversation. I am literally a data protection officer. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's my job. Shit. That was my first mistake. I should have got. My oh, first my crime kit. <laughs> right. Uh, you... oh, right, listeners, are you ready? Are you steady? Coming back to the bar, which I believe is called the Hen and Chickens, which was a hive of scum and villainy. We find our players, most of them engaged in crime-related activity, except I feel we really kick things off with Thea, who's just been quietly humming away. But why so quiet? As she's just in the front row watching an aging tabaxi rocker in leathers just howling out tunes. Oh, yeah, no. She, she was, she, he was quite sad when he, like, happy when she came and sat with him. So she'd play with him and, like, match yeah. his tune and, yeah, have a proper jam sesh with him when, uh, obviously, Barty's face exploded. Um, she ain't getting up, but she, she wants him to know it definitely was not her. I didn't do it. Wait, so you've clocked this, and your first reaction is, I didn't do I that. didn't do with it. Didn't I'll, do it. Marty, I'll turn to you then. My love! My <laughs> love! Do you love me now? Yes. I'm, I'm just rushing up to Barty. I'm genuinely, I'm doing a concern. What has happened to your face? What have you done now? What's she happened? said, she what said, happened? she said... This wouldn't happen yet. Why is it happening now? Who said said that? Uh, My ex-wife. Oh, so you do know how to get a divorce? Yes. (laughs) Um, So what, your ex-wife has done this to you? Yeah. She cursed me. Oh. I haven't always had a beautiful cow face. Terrible luck with wives. To she stop said, picking wives. I know. Don't she pick said, any more wives. I know. She said if you if you're gonna act like an animal, then you can look like one. And then she turned me into a cow. And now this hentai creature. <laughs> could I could I ask um who Jeez. your ex wife is? I think we might get along. How does it look, Solomon? Am I still oh. beautiful? I mean, all creatures are beautiful in their own way if you look at them long enough um, and squint enough. Um, it's different. If you, lo- if you mean that, then touch my tentacle. Yeah, yeah no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm Not that one! Let me just find... Oh. Um, oh. The other one. That's a special tentacle. The other one. I mean, there's, oh. there's a few. Which one is the one that I should be touching? The one on my face. Oh, God. I'm going to go and fondle a tentacle. <laughs> oh, I feel better Someone now. Thank like, you, Solomon. Oh, my God, this is such a great Actually, specimen. I'll, after you said thank you, he hasn't let go. He's now, like, <laughs> like looking at it like in real detail. It's like, it's actual... <laughs> Got little suckers on the end of here. Like I know. They're like an octopus. I think that's what my face is now, an octo face. 
I... You can independently move all of your tentacles, oh, by the way. They each have oh. a brain in them. So, Actually, I'm rather enjoying this. This is fun! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna line up a row of shots individually with my tentacles and have a shot glass in each tentacle and I'll go, right. Who wants a shot? Um, um I I I will not be partaking. Um I'll take think... Solomon's shot as well. Who? Right, you have to come closer to get it though. <laughs> and Here go your tentacle. Yes, directly from the... Oh, God. What have I become? Oh, dear. Um, Scotty. Yes? Do you think that perhaps you choose women that are good for you? Well, considering my ex-wife was a bog witch, probably not. <laughs> I right. got to one take that so... box on Tinder. Well, it's fine because in my first crime kit, I have a balaclava, so we can cover the tentacle man if it's a bit weird easily because we have a balaclava now. We also have a fake beard as well. Um, oh, if, yeah, we do have a fake prefer beard. to have them covered. I'm not saying you should, there is no shame in having a tentacle face. Um, do you think it would proud scare the locals? Um, I think it would put them. I would make them uneasy. But say if you, why? Who's ever cared about what others, others have thought? I'll take the fake beard. <laughs> Willow passes the fake beard over from the my first crime kit. Thank you, thank you, Willow. That's all right. I mean, like I said it's as as, as Solomon said. It's, it's you. We don't think you have to. And we think you look as beautiful as you did when you had your cow face. Uh, you yeah. are as glorious now as the day you were when I first met you. Um, but it's just in case you feel a bit more comfortable. Well, eventually I, I do warm to these new features. Uh, I suppose I they're a bit of a shock the first time round when you but... were walking around with like a cow face and then suddenly tentacles, high. It's It's a bit... It's a bit a lot, really. Yes. How often does does your face... How often has it changed? Well, the first time it turned into a cow, and now it's turned into an octopus. Okay, so you weren't uh, anything... Hadn't been turned into anything else before being turned into a cow so face. So, should we put on the list of things to do? Kidnap bird... Bear. Oh, no, sorry, bear. It's a bear. Kidnap okay, bear. Kidnap bear. Whatever, kidnap the animal. Whatever, they're all the same. Kidnap animal. They're very, very different. Here, a muse back. Get Barty and Tia divorced. Kidnap no, a man. no, no, no. Deal with Barty's ex-wife, who sounds like a bitch. Well, she. Finding her quite much. relatable, honestly. Oh, <laughs> Thea, please. Oh. So, I'm going to add that to our to-do list. Well, she said, the curse will be lifted if I learn my lesson and atone. Now, I have no fucking idea what she meant. I don't know what I could do. But, uh... Could he not be such a pig of a man? But I've always, been, I've always been faithful to, to whoever I'm with. He's not a pig, he was a cow man. I mean, it was metaphor, metaphorical, meta, box, whatever. I don't, I don't know the word. Um, I mean, we've currently got crime to do. Um, and until Tia has, although we've got some to wait for Tia, but Thea. I think there is some Thea, not Tia, Thea. There's some depth of issues might need dealing with. Because I think? think she told you what you did wrong. Yeah. What could you imagine that Barty would have to do to make amends so that his ex-wife doesn't think he's a terrible hot human anymore? Um, Your Thea is, like, is, Thea is just like exhausted by this point because like she has no strength. She's a weakling. She is 
exhausted and she is literally falling asleep over her ukulele. Like, she's like, um, I, I, nah, nah. <laughs> she's just, that's my love. I think more and more we need, to get, we need to get Thea a room. I think we're, I was, I, I thought that maybe she would, as she was so desperate to get peace and quiet, she would have gone one herself but you didn't I think we met you to... told me we were going to a different room you told me we weren't getting a room here i don't know i'm I am, I tell you what, I, wait, 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 wait. I just need to i just need to lie down i am going to put a gold piece down on the bar i'm going to take this lovely lady up to a room now okay okay as the sleazy looking owl comes back he's holding a sack in one hand um and he's got he's a dead. jar the other hand, as he hands you the sack, as he's like, there is your beginner's crime kit, grappling hook, net, rope, balaclava, fake beard. And as he hands you a um, lukewarm jar of baby bird batter, he's like, and here's some fake DNA. Brilliant. Fresh. You, thanks. Fresh fake DNA. Great. Rooms. Do you have rooms? Rooms? Yeah. Yeah. Gold I mean, piece? Uh, That's enough. Yeah. It's what for the night? Needs... We'll, it we'll takes a gold piece. Like... We 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 only need four hours. Me and this good lady need four hours in that room. <sighs> Clipboard out is uh he's looking up and down it. He's like Well, oh, hang on a minute. As a a um, slightly gaudy pair of male orcs come down, like proper greased up, as um, he's like, ah, oh, looks like we've got an opening. There we go. Gold piece. I'll even change the covers for you. Just uh, give me a second. To be fair, do we not need to um, wait until evening anyway? We're getting to evening ish. Let's say we're not. We're, it's what it's early evening already. Yeah. So by the time you've had your four hours, we should be. You're ready to go and do Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, we can all have a quick rest. Yeah, like, I mean, I've, uh, it'd be like four hours. Minutes. Huh? He give it five minutes. He says, Yeah, if you want to go up, it is room thirty three. End of the okay. corridor. And I'm gonna scoop Thea up in my arms and I'm gonna carry her upstairs. Ah. Uh... Are you sure that's uh, down. Are you that's sure so that's... exciting. As as you enter the room, the first thing that hits you is the fact that the bed is in a giant heart shape and is coin operated. Um it's gaudy, but it's all that. So uh you're in you're in the marriage suite uh with a coin operating vibrating bed. Uh, there's also a small chocolate mint left on the pillow. Do you need the vibrating bed? Does that help? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to lay her down and um, kind of hover a bit, unsure of what she does now. Because, um, like, she's never seen an elf meditate. She, she, she just, um, she's just like, yeah, but... She, she's an astral elf, so she's supposed to go into a like trans like state, but she's a bard and she's Thea, so she's just gonna like flomp like a cat and just like face down, like just like dead into the world. <laughs> and once when I was ascertained that Thea looks like she's gone into a trance, I'm gonna just leave the room and stand outside guard because this is kind of a shady place. I'm not comfortable about mm. leaving my trance-like friend in a room on her on the, her own in such a sleazy venue. Um, I don't know. I've That's seen the times right. people in here. Um, so I'm just going to, for the next four hours, guard, unless uh, Barty or Solomon want me to do anything else, for the next four hours, I'm just going to guard. Cool. Um, that, that, uh, because of that, I do get a long rest. Okay. Um, Did you spend the rest then? No one else is resting. I mean, I'm assuming they they would get a short I don't, rest. Short rest. Say, I, I don't. don't... Yeah, I have I... any hit points. I don't get anything from a short rest, so I'm happy to. I can. Uh, I'm quite happy to keep Barty company down in the um, in the bar section of the inn if he's okay. not doing anything. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I also get to 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 be profi- uh, choose a proficiency in something uh, from the handbook. Ooh. Um, I, I'm assuming that Barty has a, a thievery um, kit on him at the moment. Well, funny you should say that. Because no. technically that's in the handbook. I was yeah, wondering if you did. But, yeah, I, but I neglected to take one, so... Okay. Um, World's so worst I, rogue. <laughs> I was thinking... Oh, God damn it! I was thinking I could like choose the... The, the thievery kit instead of the my first crime kit because that's not actually in the player's handbook. It was just well, so I could you get, could get profens- proficiency with it though, but you won't yeah, get that... you won't get the kit itself though, surely. Well, the the kit isn't in the in the handbook, is it? Because we just thieves... made it up. <coughs> well, there's thieves' tools uh... in the handbook. Yeah. I'll say if you're proficient in thieves' tools, you'll be proficient with. So, my first so basically, kit. she's like crashed out there. She's like. Like meditating yeah, on how she flicking would use DNA up the wall. Yeah, how yeah. she's basically you, you're yeah. like spitting fake DNA around. Yep, and using lock picks and grappling hooks and disguise kits and things you're like that. Good. So you all think she's just like being a complete nuisance and just crashing out, but really she's like yeah, gaining her spell slots and gaining proficiencies. Are well, you, you going to spend annoyed. any? on the vibrating bed at all or is that just going unused or <laughs> she's out cold like she was like yeah she's like over it she's down she's down already <laughs> okay okay it's only a copper I mean... piece <laughs> <laughs> no it's really in that that face. Face. Just, um, as tempting <laughs> yeah. as it is like i do think she was like literally just like flumped onto the bed and passed out Yep. No worries. Okay, so you go past out, getting in your proficiencies. Uh, uh, Willow, you, you're camped outside like the um, guard horse that you are. You shall not pass. As at one point, the door opposite you opens, and you see this smooth, shaved gnome in leather hot pants just walks out and is like, What are you looking at? I'm just he... guarding my friends here. By the way, he just those walks hot pants. down the corridor, just. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. No judgment. As he just slaps his ass and just carries walking down the corridor. Um. Yeah. Just a little smooth snow hot pass. Kind of thing you see in Marishaft. As uh, Barty, you've got the option. Uh, the sleazy owl offers you to have a short rest with him. I'm going to turn to the sleazy owl and I will say thank you very, very much for your offer. Um, but I'm married. I, I cannot, <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, had I been a, a, a single man slash cow slash octopus, I would be very tempted. But alas, I cannot. Yeah, it's all right. I suppose I better respect your boundaries, really. In a modern and you know progressive story, I understand the good ones are always taken. As all of you get the short rests that you need, so we will bring this chapter of the story to somewhat of an end before we get ourselves in any more trouble. And you know, because the listeners want to want to move on to the next chapter of Marrow Shaft Night, so all of you getting the short rests. And the proficiencies that you need without even availing yourself of the vibrating beds, you slowly gather back in the bar area. Um, the gnome pinned to the board is still there as he now has more knives stuck in oh. him. Um, as as uh, you all gather around the bar, you see Thea is looking a lot perkier. Uh, the stage is now empty. The aging uh, tabaxi rocker is pissed off. He's only got so much energy in him at his age. Um, as the sleep, the, the Chad is nowhere to be seen. He's just taken your money. He's he's gone off to um, to make inquiries about Malcolm Milk Thistle's DNA. Um, as uh, the barman, the the sleazy owl is like. Can I be offering you any kind of uh, food before you go? I think I will probably go without food here. 
I've kind of lost my appetite, to be honest. Um, uh, Do you cater to gluten, soy, dairy? <laughs> Intolerance. Oh, are we a maze as well? I mean, um, we have an no octopus stars. as well. We have zero hygiene stars. Uh, as he points over to the bar, you see a particularly sweaty plate of cheese sandwiches that have just been left on the end of the bar. Mm. Can I offer you an amuse bouche? I we've probably got to go and do the thing that we've got to go and do. Oh, but yeah. the offer of food was lovely and I'm sure or whatever it's called is uh eight meal. Um go and do crime now. Yes, crime. Hey. Oh. <clears throat> a word to the wise maybe i know this is your first foray into crime but starting crime off by shouting we're off to crime now loudly it's not a done thing yeah probably not the best thing to do will i um also if you were interested now. we've still got you tickets left for uh the valentine's ball here so if you were interested in a night of sleazy beats, we do still have some ticket left for the Valentine. I'll take two. He is already walking away. I'll take two. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a nice present for. Her. It'll be a nice surprise. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah, it'd be a lovely way to celebrate your marriage. Exactly that. Oh, Ten really copper pieces for the tickets. <laughs> Done. I'll take. I'll take. I'll take two. He's, Would he's you over. like use of any of the rooms? We've got the um, we've got the business suite with the waterbed. Do you know what? Well, waterbed that suddenly sounds more enticing than a regular bed for some reason. <laughs> do you know what? Have you got um, just a? Do you? Know, I, I think I'd quite like to sleep in just like a really big sink, also known as a bath. Actually, <laughs> I, I just I just suddenly feel like I'd sleep better it, submerged. Okay. I mean, <laughs> the back, if you <laughs> want to rent the horse trough. I will. I would like to rent the horse trough. All right. Two tickets to the Valentine's <laughs> Ball, and we will have the horse trough. Would you sprinkle you. some petals in the horse trough? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, probably. Put some nettles in it if you want. Yeah. No, not nettles. Put. Uh, Rose petals, not nettles. We oh, them sorry, nettles. Sorry, my hearing's not what it was. I accidentally discharged a blunt bus into my ear once. <laughs> Never been the same. Oh. <laughs> sorry to um, hear that. Nettles in a horse trough. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We'll make it romantic for you. Tell you what we'll do. We'll put some echo in horse trough. Get you some nuzzle bags. We'll, we'll you know, it'll be a nice little thing. It'll be nice. I like it. Thank you so much. That's uh, an absolute delight. You're thanking me for this is capitalism. You paid me money. I gave you services. Yes, there is but you... literally no need. To thank okay, me. fine. I was just thinking, you know, it was kind of a custom bespoke deal, but obviously you've had to sell this experience before. So <laughs> I, 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 fine. Um, cheers. Um, and thanks for saving my marriage. Oh, there's no guarantee of that. There's no guarantee of that. No, no, no. This is I, just. You, you, I, I want a guarantee. Would sleep. you? Would you guarantee that? It's a sleazy <laughs> Valentine's ball. Yes. Do not guarantee the state of your marriage. Um, what if I pay an extra ten copper? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I might be able to give you some life coaching in love. Deal. I'm a little Deal. bit experienced. Deal. Give this romantic hey. octopus some some tips. Um, okay, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to just start trying to pull, like, drag Barty away. Barty, I think you are becoming a bit obsessed with this. I think okay. you can't rely on others to fix your marriage. Only you can do that. That's true. And, and, me, yeah. me and the power they of the horse me trough. the widow whisperer. Oh, I hang it's... around outside the funeral home. Just <laughs> amazing what you can pick up, the bereaved. <laughs> anyway, I could give you a few tips. Oh. <laughs> Anyone out? This is... This is this is not the um, 
don't want to lower yourself to that to that level, Barty. You're you're better than that. You're a great ex cow. I mean, you're better now. than that. I'm here. I am that. Yes, I know. You're you're you are that, and Barty's better. <sighs> That's hurtful. You just see a tear roll down his cheek. <laughs> yes. I'll just, on a parting word, I'll just, I'll slide him an extra couple of copper. Say, thank you for a wonderful stay. And um, may you find true love in your life. And then I'll, I'll leave. Takes you by the tentacle yeah. tenderly and just kisses the end of your tentacle. Puts it I, back. Uh, um, never do that again. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we leave very awkwardly at that moment. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> Barty, you know yeah. what? Yes. You don't work out. You're well in there. Like, well in. I do think that Owlman is um, quite um, smitten with you. Oh, uh, you think I was interested in that Owlman? No, we're just saying that if things don't work out with Thea, there's a chance. And, you know, it would be way better Wife? if you were someone who was into you than magic. Wives clearly you aren't hate. your greatest endeavour, so perhaps husband? That's what you think, as far as I'm concerned. You have everything's, three... everything's going well. Yeah. So, um, if this... Okay. <laughs> You do remember you look like an octopus, right? I've grown to like it in the short four hours. Okay. You are starting okay. to wear it much better. It gives me a sort of sucky quality. So, um, on that very, um, note, how do we exotic. do the next... Mm. Party, you are... Uh, by the person who knows about these things. So now, how do we break into the zoo? You buy a ticket. It's closed. Um, it's night. Oh so we yes, need to break of course. In now. So, um, had I was, if I was able to do some reconnaissance earlier on, this would be easier to determine how we would break into it. Alas, um, the cow form is no more. So you, you grew an octopus face. I have, uh, which was unexpected, um, and yet here we are, tentacles <clears> and all. So. I say, what if I terrify the security guard by pretending I'm a mind flayer? And would they not then call the guard if there's a mind flayer in, in the city? You'd call a guard on a mind flayer? <laughs> they could try, but I could take on any guards they bring in. <clears throat> yes, but we don't oh. want to be aroused too much suspicion straight away. No, we'll save the arousing for later. Back there, they were all very aroused. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> it did um, seem to be quite the theme. I saw a very smooth man. Goblin. No. No. Gnome. Something. In leather pants. So racist. <laughs> so racist. No, can't even tell the difference between a gnome and a goblin. Oh, yeah. Not all, the small, not all small people are the same. Not all small people are goblins. <laughs> Yeah. It's very hard to see all the way down there when I'm seeing past me being a horse. Now you're judging on being short. Oh, my life. Anyway, but uh, they were all very aroused. Anyway, so back to the crime. Back to the crime. crime. Hey, hang on. No. <laughs> Sorry. It's too crime. You want to say it quietly. It's okay. There's, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Can I suggest... You, just see a, uh, you see a couple arm-in-arm arm just cough and cross to the other side of the street as you whisper <laughs> crime loudly. Evening! Uh, lovely day for crime. <laughs> By the way, crime is our nickname for hanging <coughs> out. Um, the the they just scuttle off. Down. Okay. That could How be a scare. How far are we from the, um, from yeah, the, the zoo? Zoo, uh, different district. So you're in fellas took still where you took refuge in uh, the Hen and Chickens, a a pub of almost no repute. Uh, you need to get to the next district, which is called Budger's Rim, and uh, it's a short walk, maybe ten minutes into a slightly more touristy kind of district. You're going for a sort of yeah, very working class 
uh, industrious district into a very gaudy. It's it's the place they send tourists to in Marrow Shaft. Uh, well, it's just full of crappy amusement arcades and just the the bottom rung of dining. Um, it's like full of you know fat and sugar and salt. Like everything's on a stick and slightly burnt with regards to the uh, food situation there. As uh, with a, with a short walk. Maybe 10 minutes or so through the night. Easier because there's very few people about. The only people mm -hmm. who are about are really looking quite shady and trying to stay out of your way. Yeah, you make your way up a tree-lined avenue. And at the end, you don't see because it's not lit up. Sign Marrow Shaft Zoo as you see the outer <clears> wall <throat> and the ticket office now boarded and closed down. All the kind of thermological um usually there's all sorts of like alchemical lamps and you know thaumaturgy to to light up the entrance is all now cold and turned off like my wife ow mm. ow it's okay i don't consider myself his wife so he can keep saying those things it doesn't oh, hurt so me so romantic but you are legally his wife, correct? Uh, we got drunk in a bar and danced. There was a dude in a diaper with a balloon hat. How is that a marriage ceremony to anyone? Did he pronounce you husband and wife? I don't remember. It was dark. It was... Uh, we were like 17 shots in. We... We, we were wow. celebrating. It was a... It was a... It was a heavy night. Hey. That diaper-wearing priest was a good friend of mine. <laughs> then you can find him and get this marriage annulled, and he can agree that it was absolutely atrocious. I would rather not. Anyway, Bertie, let's break into this zoo. In crayon. My name is not Bertie for the last time. It's Bertie. <laughs> it's Bertie. It's not Bertie. It's Bertie. I you have the know certificate this to prove it. Your name is Bertie. That's just, I've just got shit handwriting, okay? <laughs> I was adjusting to my cow fists. <laughs> um, you got cow fists? Your face was a cow. I don't know. There's no point did you have hooves. I know. He's, he's just got cow hands. Hey, it's an excuse that he's trying. Has it, has yeah. it paid off? Probably not. To the zoo! The zoo! You're at the zoo. You're literally standing <laughs> outside right. the cold, closed down. Inside the, the zoo. zoo. <laughs> we don't just declare her inside it and just teleport there and start how it works. We can't close your, we can't close your eyes zoo. and believe. I mean, technically, I Inside the zoo, that. howling at the top of his voice, to the zoo, as you just see a man staggering down the street, <laughs> no. giggling to himself, holding a whiskey bottle. As he's like... <laughs> hey, do you want to come to with us, zoo. my friends? Do you want to come with us? It does sound like we're on a drunken adventure, like at like four a.m. when you're like a teenager, and you're like, "To that place, to that place." <laughs> he giggles to himself as he's like, <laughs> as he accidentally drops his bottle, it shatters on the floor. Oh. This brown, foul liquid. He's like, "Yes." Oh, can I? F oh wait, can I like? It's just a single break or a tear. I can't fix it. I'm sorry. It's all right. You can give him the um. Ha you could give him the bottle of mysterious ooze that we purchased from the beginner crime bag. I wouldn't. That looks very suspicious. <laughs> I thought we were using drink? that to. I thought we were using that to. Um... He can have a taste. Jar's gone cold piece. now. It was. It was a. It was quite lukewarm. I thought it was bird now. poop. Can I? This passerby, can I attempt to take else. some sure. take some hairs from him? Has he got a beard? Can I take some hairs from his beard? <laughs> oh yeah, he's quite <laughs> unkempt. Uh, he's he's got his shirt undone, and you can sort of just see various things encrusted in his uh, chest. Right. Um, I will you can see his hair is at different lengths. Like he's half cut his hair, but it's sort of he's got drunk <laughs> halfway through cutting his hair, oh. so that part of his hair is. Like shaved, but part of it isn't shaved. Okay, I'll say to him then. I'll be like, uh, it's, it's I've, I've 
It's such a, a coincidence to bump into you here. You see, I'm a I'm a travelling barber, and I would like to even out that uh, unkempt hair that you've got there. Would you permit me just to do that for you very quickly, free of charge, no issues? I just I can't look at it uneven like that. Would you mind, sir? Swaying around a bit as he's like, "What's in it for me?" A fancy haircut. And I'll give you a gold piece so you can buy yourself another drink. Yes. Old. Right. As a bit uh, of dribble just comes out the corner of his mouth. Right. Um, yeah. uh, 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 Solomon, if you wouldn't mind just um, uh, going on all fours so we could use you as a seat. Fine, very much. I, I'm pretty sure that you're tall enough. You can deal with it here. Deal with him standing. <sighs> well, well, I'll stand behind you. He him just keep points him over at a bench. He's a. Uh, <coughs> oh, yes, the bench. The there. bench. Oh, sorry, Solomon. He, he just I, I... sidles over and just collapses face first onto the bench before like pulling himself back up. Yes, I, 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 I'll, over and done with. Right, I'll just get the, the good time. I'll just get the my knife and I'll just go, and I'll just cut a, a, just a chunk off, and I'll just be like, "There we are, sir. All done." You might just say you look exquisite. <laughs> Make me a sleight of hand skill check, please. Oh bollocks! <laughs> be fine. Oh, it's not fine. Great. Eleven. Good. Um, as you hack a bit of um, <coughs> you hack a bit of hair off the back and just take the top off here with a dagger, as he's like, "Oh, that tickles a bit." <laughs> okay. As you're just holding onto the tip of the ear in one hand, looking at him, <laughs> it's just spurting blood out arterially. Well, be on your way, sir. And um, I'm going to give uh, him a gold piece. Yeah. Um, uh, well, good night. <laughs> See you. Ah, it's been a pleasure. As he kisses you on each cheek, oh. uh, breath is foul. <clears throat> um, and then, like, uh, some octopus slime just like trails off. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> trails off it, yeah. Like, you know, Octo, Barty, Octo splooge. Oh. Weirder and sleazier and more downtrodden they are, the more they seem to like you. Well, I, it out. I come from, from the Underhelm and. Uh, Clearly a, clearly a champion he, of the people. You've got something on you there. As he just wipes his finger through the dried bird shit on your lapel before sitting around and just walking off. You see him, he makes it about 10 feet before he collapses into a hedgerow on the side of... Oh, maybe he saw a cat. You're left holding... You're holding... The t- <laughs> Good callback. As you're left holding a lock of hair in the tip of his ear. Okay. Um, anyone want a bit of ear? Why do you want the hair? Why do I want uh, the hair? Ear you... as well as the hair. So, fine. You keep it. This is clearly a job that is not for one person. A Giuseppian bunny bear is, is not to be trifled with. So, I thought we might need to make this a two-person job. So you've got the jar and also the hair as DNA. There were two people involved. So... I like it. Okay, yeah. No, actually a good idea. Exactly. There There is is... method in your madness. No, that's not madness. He's got a fine haircut. He might have missed a bit of an ear, but, it, you know, it's he looks dashing, don't you think? He's underrated. He looks better than he did. Dashing is a stretch. To the zoo! We're at the right. zoo. We're at, We're the, at zoo. the zoo. Get in the zoo now. But you can, in the zoo. You can see the the ticket kiosk is closed. The roller shutters are down. The outer wall is a good twenty feet. Um, as you can okay. hear various noises coming from behind the wall. So, is there um, round the uh, exterior? So, around the exterior mm. wall, um, is there mm. any part of it where it is? Um, less illuminated, um, more tucked away, anything like that. So, because getting the horse over the wall is going to take a bit of effort and a, probably a bit of time. So, we may want to try okay. and find somewhere yeah. where we're less likely to be disturbed. Yeah. With, a, with a five minute walk away um, from the front entrance. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to say um, the staff entrance. Is there a staff entrance or a service? Good point. 
Make me a perception guilt. Twenty. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. As you look around, you notice the only people you do see seem to be wearing um zoo livery. As you follow them in reverse, <clears throat> you follow for about five minutes around the outer wall, you see a door that opens and closes as a bunch of sweaty, slightly overweight men come out. One of them's got like a really nasty rash he's rubbing on his hand. He's like I swear to God, if one of those feta snipes bites me one more time, I'm going to lose my shit. I don't get paid enough for this as the door slams shut. Um, can I use my mage hand to stop the door from stop stopping? You can certainly make some sort of reaction recheck to see whether you can do that. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <clears throat> Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to say... I think it's still a sleight of hand, you know? I think it's still, like, you know, whether you can delicately move something. It's it's a dexterity-based ability check, so maybe a sleight of hand again. I know the purists of D&D &D rules are probably screaming at me there, but fuck it. Time is, time is rattling on, and you've got some interest 14. in actually moving this storyline along. Fourteen! Uh, you... Fire out your mage hand in the amount of time it's taken you to conjure it and say the magical words your hand come into the the hand grips the door as the finely manicured elfish nails scratch along the edge just as the door slams shut and clicks. So close. Not quite. Duh. You hear the clunk click? The mechanism close back together as your elfish hand droops slightly. Mm. Oh. Sadness. Sad it just hand. kind of floats back like the thing, but like you know, like yes, <laughs> too. just like the thing, just a full on look on the giant hand. Mm -hmm. It's failed you. Um, okay, so if that that was, uh, yeah, now that's not unfortunately worked, Are we back to trying to get somewhere that's a little out of the way. Try and scale the wall. I assume. I, I don't. I can't imagine you just by the grappling hook for no reason at all. Exactly that. So I think you're the best person to try this out. Um, uh, not I might... strongest, but I'll give it a go. I'll probably uh, be, I'll be able to get up the rope. Probably the easiest. Give it a go. <clears throat> okay. Who's who's swinging the rope? Who's swinging the grappling hook on the end of the rope? I am going to be swinging the grappling hook. <clears throat> yes. Make me an athletics skill check, please. Athletics. Very well. Put the rope up there. Nine. <laughs> um, Nine! That's... Wait, wait, wait. For ten minutes, the creature can add it to one ability check, attack, crawl, or saving throw. This can be added after the roll, but before knowing okay. the outcome. Oh, no, it says before knowing the outcome, right? Well, I haven't said the outcome yet. Mm. Close. And technically, by the letter of the law, right? Do you have to sing to him? Uh, in that case, I'm not going to do it. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I can give Bardic inspiration, but it's one bonus action and I just used a cantrip. Inspire yeah. him, my love. Um am I still able to do that? Depends if the cantrip's a bonus action or an action action. Bardic inspires. Oh uh, it has specific Mage hand is an or... action. And then... why not? Um... Are you okay with me doing that? I'm, I'm okay with you doing that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'd far rather have found a move the storyline on rather than being an absolute like. Okay. Um, I just I didn't know the rules. Um, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm okay with that. Easy I shall, shall give Bardic inspiration to Solomon, please. Hey, cool. You're going to play him a little tune? Can I sing? Please. 
I will play the Good ukulele pressure. while he to. does the thing. As he swings the rope. There we go. Start getting a rhythm up as you're swinging the rope with the grapple on the end. So what's the what's the extra? Uh, yeah, what's the extra I'm adding? Mash, what dice am I adding to it? Uh, sorry, I was playing. D6. Uh, D6. Okay, cool. Uh, where can I roll inspiration <laughs> from D&D Beyond? Um, sorry, D6. It's the, in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a die that you can pick up, and there's a D6 one. Oh, okay, cool. Oh! Oh. Cool. Climb the fucking wall. Uh, so that was a four on that, so added to that, so that's 13 total. 13 total. As you basically, you get you get the grapple and the ropes, you're As on a 13, you hurl it over the wall as it goes. You hear a dull thud and a... Is that the okay. sound of it hit, hitting a giraffe? <laughs> I hit something. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Up for the best. Oh just no! Ignorance is bliss you, right you now. Pull in, pull in, pull in. There's just no <laughs> tension, no tension, and then <laughs> locks onto something as you feel the rope taut. I only give it one last firm yank just to make oh. sure it's not. It's tight. Oh god! Right. It's a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I know the sound of a grappling hook and a hit in a penguin. It's unmistakable. <laughs> um, okay. Cancelled by Petter. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm going to climb up the rope then. Um, if I make it to the top, I'll then stay at the top of the wall and I'll help the others up from there. Make me an acrobatics check to get up the wall. He's Kogi! Uh, acrobatics, yes. Yeah. You fucking kidding me? Five. <laughs> inspiration. Have you got inspiration? As... Oh, because I've just used it for the, the grappling hook. Mm -mm. Like actual Solomon. Like, inspiration. No. What from? Mm -hmm. Oh, you you have inspiration from the chat, and um, yeah, I used your inspiration for the grappling hook. Give me. You watch, and. Look so confident, climbing the rope, arm on arm, scaling to the top, finally getting fingers onto the lip of the wall, pulling himself up, hands smiling, hands on hips, laughing to you all. Look at me, look what I've achieved. As he overcompensates, slips backwards, falls off the wall. The other way. Oh, as you hear poof, now, 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 Solomon, yes. fall twenty feet. That's considerable damage. This is going to be fun. Your back. <laughs> yeah. You, you take. Oof. Take five points of bludgeoning damage as you fall. Sorry, uh, could you repeat that? I just, uh, you cut five. out. Five. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, you take five points of bludgeoning damage as yes. you lie on the floor, staring up <laughs> at the moon. Everything just a little bit hazy as everything is swimming in your mind. You feel something uncomfortable in your back. You Reach underneath yourself, pulling the broken, shattered form of a tiny animal. Now, this little animal that you've smooshed into existence, you know from experience, is called a jam jam. A jam jam is a tiny little deer with antlers about the size oh. of your hand. You've crushed it as you pull some of the antlers out of your back. You look down at the mangled, crushed form of the oh. jam jam. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's I'm so impressed. sad. As you, I'm very sorry. Hold on to it. 
dead form of a jam jam in one hand. As you look over, you see the pack of jam jams <gasps> now just on the edge of your peripheral vision. You see 10 furious little jam jams. Now they're just tiny little deer, just like the size of the palm of your hand with little <laughs> antlers. As they're watching you with the crushed form of their friend in your hand, feel the pain jutting in your back from where you've fallen. As they hiss, you see the they hiss. They hiss. the feral jam jams. You are a carnivorous race. <laughs> As the rest of you Carnivorous jam jam. The wall. Hear the fall and the scream of Solomon as he falls into the jam jam enclosure. Oh that my God. Is where we are going to pause this week's episode. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Carnivorous <laughs> jam jams. Oh. Yeah, jam jams. Yeah, I love it. I love it. In I no say we leave him there and dick. go through the door. <laughs> I can't climb the wall to get him, so you know. They hiss. They They're... fucking hiss. <laughs> My step is like negative one. There's no way I'm getting up a grappling hook. <laughs> we'll just have to wait till morning and buy a ticket. And just explain what's just happened to the poor Jam Jam to the uh, the zookeeper in the morning. You, you've just crushed a really small, delicate animal into spooches. You just like, yeah, pulled, pulled dude, through. that's a bad roll. Yeah, that's a I've bad got, roll. You you just fell twenty feet onto a small Fire carnivorous campaign. animal. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> right, well, listeners, I'm not sure how many of you are still with us, but that was a wild ride. I mean, hey, we had loads of stuff planned, but you know, fun got in the way. So, what can you? <laughs> Killer jam, um, apparently. All right. So wonderful. that's about all we're going to achieve for this week. Use that term uh, loosely. I hope you've enjoyed. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. Right. Things to note before we let you go. Um, already, please, please, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. Everyone who's turned up live, thank you so much. So much love to you all. It means the world to us just to, you know, have you all come out and, and join us on this batshit crazy adventure. Um, don't forget, episodes go up on YouTube. So if you haven't checked out some of the past episodes, you need a little catch up, please check it out on YouTube. That would be amazing. This episode will be up there if some of you haven't been able to catch the beginning or you just want a bit of a recap. Please check it out on YouTube. Let's not forget host of all this ampersand d20 please 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 consider subscribing to the twitch channel or the discord channel if you just want to chat about anything that you've heard across the course of this episode some of the debauchery that we've covered please consider getting on the ampersand d20 uh, discord server and we'll we'll i'm sure most of us most of us adventurers will be there to to chat to you and explain um and explain, you know, uh, what's happened or, you know, just answer your questions. Right. I guess that only really leaves us time to say a goodbye from some of these wonderful people. It is a massive goodbye from Thea. Um, okay, thanks Matt. for having me. Um, I've been Thea. I will be back on Twitch tomorrow morning with Breakfast Bants with me and my angry Swifty. Yes. Um, right and uh, um, how can people find you on the chaos. socials? Uh, Mash Ashy, but um, you should also follow Ash Hester, that is my professional author name, and I am a professional mm. author who does books and stuff, so you know, come and to it's me. Awesome, go buy it. But now, oh. Okay, uh, it's a massive goodbye from her estranged husband with a tentacle face now, the one, the only Barty, played by the wonderful cow. Hi, yes. Hope you had fun this evening. I certainly did. You can find me at CLeeTTRPG on Twitter. If Yeah, Twitter. And, um, uh, yeah, that's the one. Uh, CLeeTTRPG.com for all your comedy TTRPG related things. And you can catch me this Thursday on this very channel for Homebrew Havoc. A show that's been going on for a long time and is nearing its conclusion. 
Um, so mm. getting mm. it's certainly heating up um, as we near the final battle in that one. So be sure using your tune. sexy voice, by the way. You're now deploying your sexy voice. No, this is over. no, this is just my voice. <laughs> your corporate uh, voice. You're trying to you're trying to get like you're trying to sell voiceover work with a voice. Like so join us on Thursday for Homebrew Havoc ASMR. Okay, all right. Quite like See that. you there. Keep- can you, can you record that for me? <laughs> smoother, than a, smoother than a lukewarm jar of owl semen. That voice is... Uh, hey, there you go. You can use that, by the way, in your promotional material. It's that voice is... A, <laughs> right. It, we, we, we're running short on time. It's a massive, sorry, massive, sorry. massive go, goodbye. Go, go. Um, the wonderful man himself... Oh, not Willow. God damn it. I'm allowed one mistake, listeners. Uh, it's a massive goodbye from the man who can't even scale a wall without killing small animals. So- uh, thank you very much, everyone. I have been Solomon. Um, I'm K of Double K on all the socials. Um, jam Jam can- Murderer. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm going to murder a lot more next session. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I care not. If they're coming for me, that's it. They're over. Um, you can find me at K of Double K on all the socials, but you can also find me yeah, yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday here on Twitch from 10 a.m. BST. Good morning, where I talk nonsense and play video games. So, yeah, that. lovely to see if you could come along. Do that. Right, and finally, we have the ever, ever, ever wonderful Willow who. Some crimes. I haven't even met anybody who, who so loudly shares the fact at the top of their voice that they're getting into crime. She's very uh, excited. In a pleasure, Kat. Tell them all about where they can find you. Uh, well, I am Cat Tulip, and you can find me on the socials, usually at uh, under Cat Tulip. Uh, or you can find me um, on KFWK stream yelling at him in the background. I do a very good job at yelling at him. Um, and, yeah, I, you know... Willow's very excited about crime. It's her first foray into it, and um, it's very exciting. Um, yes, so you can find me on the socials and on Twitch, Cat uh, Tulip, or particularly on Twitch, at uh, K of Double K, shouting in the background and throwing him loving abuse. <laughs> loving abuse. It's... I thought I said that. Uh... Right, there you go, right, that is all of the wonderful players. I am, of course, AJ. You can normally find me as the host and dungeon master of the Adventurers Anonymous podcast, where you can get years on on more, you know, fancy fuck nuggetry, much like this. Uh, you can find that on all your favourite podcasting platforms. And you can find me at Adventurers ANO, number one, on uh, the X's. What the hell do you call Twitter these days? Slide into my X's. Come find me at Adventure is Anonymous. There you go. That's all we're going to achieve for this week. Um, come just next week to find out what happens in the uh, Jam Jam enclosure. Or if you can't wait, go back and check out some of the previous episodes on YouTube. It's been an absolute pleasure. We've had a great time. Mad love to you all for hanging about and spending an evening with us. And uh, we will check back in with you next Monday, 7.30 UK time. But in the meantime, we're going to raid out to, I believe, Scruff underscore XP. Mass Scruffington. Go give him some love. Mass Scruffington some love. Mass Scruffington. Scruffalopagus. (laughs) Scruffalopagton. Are you all in a bit? Big love. Have a great week. Mm.